hey, how about this? I'm just gonna <laughs> record. I'm I'm just actually just gonna record the entire VOD as a video too. There. Sick. Problem solved. So yep. since I just hit record, welcome to Phoenix Right, everybody. Just in case it didn't work the first time. Um, okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna get through maybe like one and a half cases. The first one being the tutorial. I have played this game before. It's been a minute though. It's probably been a few years since I played Phoenix Wright. Mm -hmm. But I love Phoenix Wright. I had, I have it on the DS. I have like the trilogy on the original DS. Um, Same. Yeah, Jada is familiar as yep. a Zep, but it's been a while for Zep. Yeah, and I don't remember any of it. Anna is new to this. She's never heard of Phoenix Wright. Um, what about I've Mick? I've heard of it, I just never... Never played, never oh, watched it or played it. Nope. Mick, uh, what about you? I have a little um, experience with Phoenix Wright. Mm -hmm. I think I played, or my friend had a DS version of it. Yeah. But I played a little bit of it, and I don't know which one it was, so I have no idea which Ooh. case I experienced. Okay, great. <laughs> great, perfect. Um, Mariko to, says hi to Mick up. through Talking Mingos. Hello. <laughs> when we said a part that you recognize. Electric <laughs> Licorice no. only knows the first case. So, Ooh. there we go. Is there really a Phoenix Wright anime? I've never, I didn't know yeah. that. There is, I've watched it. Is it yep. any good? Yeah. It's, okay, I only, I only watched the episode that gives you extra stuff about Miles and Phoenix's relationship. Oh, okay. That's you watched the, the best stuff. episode. <laughs> yeah. So, nice. I've only seen a little bit of it. But okay. Yeah. Isn't this already basically like a visual novel? It is, kind yeah. Of? So, yeah. it's easy to make it yeah. to an anime. I just didn't know yeah. that one existed. Yeah. The but anime very... follows it very closely. Extremely probably closely. like Dangan Rampa, yeah. I imagine, right? Yeah. Maybe actually, yes. The anime probably is exactly like the game. Yeah. Dangan Rampa's anime is exactly the game, but faster. Gotcha. Mm. Well, there, there, I see the advantage, but I've been told that these are short. So, like, right, right, right. Necessary. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So, are we ready to get going? Boom. Yes. There's our game. Um, yeah, I think the audio levels look okay. I don't think the game music is too loud. But you guys, let me know if I need to adjust it. Okay. Um, everybody has their characters for their parts today. I am playing Phoenix because. I, I guess I have to. It's your <laughs> stream. Okay. It's yes. my stream. I, I just want everyone to know I did not just purposefully take the main character for myself. I let everybody else pick first, and nobody picked Phoenix. And I, I felt this Phoenix. looming pressure that I had to be Phoenix. So I took Phoenix. But I, I love Phoenix, so that's okay. So it all You'd works out. Phoenix. Thank you. I'll do, I pretty much, you know, I just use my normal voice for everything. <laughs> so yeah, this Phoenix is, is your. What does Phoenix sound like? You're listening to him. This is like, like, as long as you didn't yell objection. <laughs> I just sound like the main character, that's all. I just have a main character kind of voice. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm also using my um, controller, so hopefully everything is smoothly. Oh, that, the sound. I love the sounds. Uh, yes. The sounds are really good. Okay. Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, Episode God. one. The first turn of oh, I'm getting heart palpitations. I'm I have so excited. many good memories of this, of this game, like playing on my DS and stuff, and oh, shouting, shouting at the microphone. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, and the blood in this one is red, not hot. Pink. Yeah, <laughs> it's real blood. Mm. Cherry Kool Aid. It, it is kind of a pink blood, though. That's not really now, Anna. Just so you know, it's less of a who done it than a how done it. Yeah. Okay. How it went. Okay. It's Columbo rules. Basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, this so is actually know. your guy, Anna. Yeah. Which guy? This is Frank. This is Frank. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you could look like he did it. Nice. Very good. Michael these sleeves, Who's hello. He? Who is he? You'll find out. The random dude? That's oh, you'll see. <laughs> yep. It'll all be laid out for you. Okay. 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 Boy, I'm, boy, am I nervous. I just blew my first line already. You are nervous. <laughs> I just stuttering already. I got like four hours of sleep. Please bear with me. I know. Right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Oof. Glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. There's a lot about you, and your client as well. Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? One second, I'm just adjusting this right here. Okay, okay, all right. You mean, you 
you the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, it's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. You will this that. I think we know who oh. this is. Yeah, this is Larry, isn't it? Yep. It's oh Oh, you're breaking your oh, mic a little, bit. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> turn it down, butts. Turn it down. My life. Oh shit. My freaking mic is like being weird today all of a sudden. Fuck. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> My life. Everything. It's all over. Hey pasta. When do we get to object? Soon, I hope. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Yes! Despair! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> Michael D. Sleep says, Your life, your mic, everything, it's all over! I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's over! <laughs> um, yeah. <sighs> Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. And we believe everything in the paper. Mm-hmm. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was an unlucky was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Such a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. I think Larry is our adoring fan a little bit. <laughs> oh. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. I love it. It's so good. Right. <laughs> the prosecution. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Oh, I like it. The um defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Hey, Sir Dabber Smurf. Thanks, it's going well. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mm. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances... I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. A test? On my first That's day? Right. Yes, Your Honor. first pop quiz, oh. hotshot. <laughs> Shaking. Eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. It's me. No. <laughs> Larry. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Hmm, correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. 
this is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew. I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Oh. <gasps> no. No way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim! Of, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Boy, Anna, that was your line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it in time, okay? Yeah, hey, what is that on controller, Mia? It's the... <laughs> Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Enderblock, duh. Well, that's not it. <laughs> ah, that's my stuff. <laughs> Here we yeah. go. Uh, that's a first name. Cindy Lou? I guess it's going to be Cindy Stone then. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Hmm, correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... I saw a video of this at the beginning of the game. She was struck <laughs> once by a blunt object. Hmm, correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Uh, wow, law is easy. That's it so is. Good. It is. Michael That's says so Anna has been cast perfectly. <laughs> You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you! Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Uh, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue, the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Uh-oh, truth bullets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Use tab to check the court record frequently. Truth tabs? Truth tabs. Mm -hmm. Truth tabs. What? <laughs> I'd love a tab. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. There he looks like he's hanging by a throat. Oh, uh, no, now he doesn't. No. <laughs> um, Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumb, she just wasn't taking my phone calls, or seeing me, ever. What's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. You mean one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, 
the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on July 30th, the day before the murder. Mm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. I heard a voice just say it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <gasps> Daddy? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took that money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts. What do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Wait and see what happens. happens. Wait and see what happens. Stop him from answering. <laughs> um, he's already... I think we have to stop him. Nonsense, yeah. <laughs> My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Look at me doing lawyer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been practicing my point. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheated she dog. <gasps> I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. <laughs> yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh, what was boy. it? <laughs> this isn't so not looking good. <laughs> Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? No. Well, did you or did you not? Well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh. He went. What do I do? I feel like we should always stop him from doing anything. You gonna <laughs> stop me? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'll send him a signal. Lie like a dog. <laughs> oh, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. <laughs> you... Don't remember? Well then, well, let's just have you have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery... He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Is that not also very suspicious? <laughs> I feel like that's also very suspicious, mm -hmm. right? Order! Order! Order yeah. in my court! Hey, quiet down there. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Selling newspapers, really? Yes, it's a very lucrative job. <laughs> How old is your witness? Yeah. Maybe for a 12-year-old. <laughs> exactly. All right, keep going. Please bring Mr. Frank Shawit to the stand. Sir, oh, he looks nice. <laughs> Mr. Sawit. I'm sure he's fine. You sell newspaper subscriptions, is that correct? Subscriptions? Not even like something that, oh my god. No. <laughs> oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sowett, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Oh boy. Here it comes. 
Hi, going door to door selling subscriptions. When I saw a man fleeing an apartment, I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed and tried and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Remember the time exactly? It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. What he's thinking. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hmm, what am I having for dinner? Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. You told him to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, uh, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Oh, yeah, how convenient. Mm. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. However, um, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sowitz used was one of those phones. Your Honor, I have a, rec a record of the blackout for your peruse. Hey, okay, electricity. The building was out from noon to 6 p.m. Mm hmm now, uh, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. That's right. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right, this is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't think no, I went to law school. <laughs> yeah, this is your first day in a courtroom at all ever in your life. Ever. Why, you exposed lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? <gasps> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have just lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? <gasps> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. You first find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. That was the professional way to say it. That's uh, what yeah, teach us in law school. Yes, ma'am. That's why you're the professional. Mm -hmm. Open the court record with tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Yeah. You two got a tab over there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'll pass you one. During, oh boy. During recess. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okay. Hold it! Hold it! Yeah. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight, especially this particular woman's apartment? Because, you know, we already went there. I find it odd you would take notice of it. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems strange to me, that's all. He was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal in the scene of a crime. Wow. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. <laughs> uh, of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So, what happened next? He must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Half open, you say? Yes, yes. The door, the door was open halfway. Yes, that's half, half, half open. Halfway. Mm -hmm. Watch for a moment that no one came to close the door. That's odd in a big city like this, I thought. I see. And what happened next? It's strange. I looked inside the apartment. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. 
What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. He left it open halfway. half. Oh, okay. Half. 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 Want a peek? We climb mountains because they're there. It's the same thing. Well, words have never been spoken. <laughs> Anyone would look inside. <laughs> yeah. Why not? The door's open. Half hmm. open. Why did Payne cut him off so quickly? So you looked into the apartment. What happens then? And I saw her lying there. Woman not moving. Dead. <gasps> Are you sure she was dead? Oh, well... No, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all. There was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? Quelled and frightened, found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone at her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I forgot to hit the hold it, so I was just listening to you talk. <laughs> Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. And being in the middle of the afternoon, there was no one answer at nearby apartments. All right. What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? Are you certain? Yep, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Oh, hey, I happen to land on the right one. Yeah. Okay, so... 1 p.m. Evidence? What contradicts that? Well, that would be the time of death, of course. How do I present it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, top why? 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 Okay, thank you. Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You are sure? Because I'm about to rub this in your face. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. Ah. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Uh. Oh, that, uh, uh. <laughs> His objection! <laughs> <laughs> this trial, th the witness merely forgot the time. Trivial. Sorry. Trivial. This trivial trial. <laughs> this trivial trial is... What, what were we talking about? I was asleep. <laughs> Wake up, Judge. Oh, anyway, after this testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sowett, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Yeah, uh, well, I uh... Gee, that's a really good question. I know. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. He's quaking, Michael. Mm. The lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? I just scrubbed the rest of the record. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you can do that and just start over. Yeah, that's the law in this universe. <laughs> that's how it works. You see, uh, when I found the body, I heard the time. The voice saying the time, it was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? Uh, I guess the victim must have been watching a videotape of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I see. I, I heard of you heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Uh, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Feeling confident. Yeah, yeah. 
Gum body, I heard the time. You said heard, not saw. Yes, I heard. All I saw was the, the body lying there. Dead. I didn't think to look at anything else, least of all my watch. Hmm, isn't that a little strange? So you're saying you heard something? But if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. The witness did say he actually heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. I mean, he has ears. Mm. Yeah, does he, though? Let's enter that in the record. He has ears. Put that in there. <laughs> I have to agree with the prosecution. Witness, continue your testimony. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Oh, well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Oh, yeah. Something about hearing the television? The witness has testified he heard the time. But uh, wasn't there a blackout? Mm -hmm. well, it was three hours off. Oh, yeah, it must have been from the television. Objection! Objection. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <laughs> Shimmy harder, sir. I'm an idiot. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You're a tutorial yeah. villain. It's fine. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sowit? No, because I'm dumb. <laughs> find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Yeah. Okay. I, I, uh, I remember. Mr. Shawit? <laughs> <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, you seem rather distraught. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Shawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. I think chances to make more shit up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll find I do that a lot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, actually, I, I didn't hear the time. I saw it, even though I specifically said I heard it and didn't see it. There was a, a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The murder weapon, the killer used it to hit the victim. That, that must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I, I guess that would explain it. No, oh, you can't. <laughs> hmm. The defense mm -hmm. may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. But we know what the murder weapon is. Mm -hmm. During the time. Yeah, you saw it. Uh, hold it. Yeah, hold it, sir. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yeah, I, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I, I just remembered that table clock. A table clock? Apparently. We did say table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? I, I guess it's a statue because, like, yeah. that's yeah. But I don't know if it's for this particular moment. I think it's, it might be on the later ones. Mm. A table clock. Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, nope, that's not what the murder weapon was. The murder weapon? Yes, the tablecloth. That was the weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Mm. That must have been what I saw. Yeah, the we'll go back. Was it? Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? He 
you with your objection evidence, evidence. <laughs> quotes <laughs> you think you are I'm the, I'm the attorney sir just answer the question mr sawit hey i i saw it there okay that's a clock <laughs> your honor if i may it's not your fault dude he's just blowing this what what is it mr payne as the witness stated, this statue is indeed, uh, it's a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Wow. Is he also lying now? Hmm. Oh, I see. kind of fishy. That's really weird. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright? It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Can I see it? Do you have any problems with his testimony now? I got all kinds of problems with this guy, sir. <laughs> Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only what? way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Went into the apartment. You're lying. Went into the apartment. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah. Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Damn, just going out on the limb. <laughs> yeah, totally just... Order! Order in the court! Intriguing! Please continue, Mr. This Wright. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Solid, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Look at that face. <laughs> hey, Croy, welcome. Yeah. Yes, he has a face. Yeah, but that, it's a guilty face. Hmm, it sure does look guilty. Yeah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Thanks, Judge. Did you strike the victim with the clock? Hey, God. That day I never. Look, I, fuck, I got hurt. No, I mean, I thought. Saw... Oh, oh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> shut up, shut up, I hate you. If it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her. He should burn. Burn, give him a death. Whoa. <laughs> you, you really want, like. Water! Order in the court just threw his hair right at him. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Look at the guy. Mr. Wright. He threw his toupee at me, sir. Oh, Your honor. Mr. Wright. Mr. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Yeah. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Your honor. The sound Mr. Sawin heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear. If you simply... Try sounding the clock. Ask me. Let's sound the clock now. Here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Somebody want to do the clock? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that certainly is I think it's 825. Nice. <laughs> that certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, <laughs> he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. Uh, what are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? Uh, it's 1125. <laughs> Ugh. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sowett heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sowett, 
Try to talk your way out of this one. Huh? Okay, I'm having a complete yeah? villain meltdown up here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot one day. Uh oh. What's he talking about now? Oh, it makes seem like that clock is running three hours slow. Proves nothing. Oh, you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder. Can't prove that you don't have a case. He's uh -oh. right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sauer. Come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. Treat me like a criminal. Criminal! Boys are all slime. <sighs> I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Okay, so what did we get wrong? <laughs> or is there? Or is oh. there? Not so fast, Mr. Solid. <gasps> Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still loop. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock could be three hours slow? Yeah. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Fine, didn't let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright? You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Need that passport. Take that! Take that! The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's the clock she carries with her everywhere, including on yep, vacation yeah. to Paris. <laughs> to know what time it is. Yes. Cable clock. That's Everyone why the that. time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit. Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Nice Ooh. one. Ooh. Ooh. That's a hard burn. <laughs> oh. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> he really was The truth murder. killed him. O order. Order, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? Uh, <laughs> He was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Mm, very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. That's not a formality. And then we throw confetti in the courtroom. Confetti. <laughs> and with that, this court is adjourned. I'm gonna go get me a tab. Why is <laughs> yeah. this courtroom 
looked like something from a dystopian movie. <laughs> the thing is, this is actually it kind like, of is a dystopian. It is. Yeah. Future. What? Well, at the time that this game was made, it was like the 90s, and so the current time now is like 2015 or so. So this is like an imagined like new judicial system we've seen yeah. okay. like, it works differently yeah yeah, like yeah. The, the they'll explain it later system. in the game mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. cool okay yeah. it turns out that frank saw it was a common burglar he posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house that day when larry went to her apartment the victim wasn't home after he left mr Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work while he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right? Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Life is over! Oh no. Hey, Spicy! Uh, Michael says Larry kind of looks like Gary Oak from behind. Here we go. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no. I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. <laughs> but, but my Cindy Wendy has gone, man. Gone forever. It sounds like she hated you. Larry, she was a... <laughs> nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Harry! Uh, yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. <laughs> Harry Butts Innocent. Hey, um, uh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, um, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! But you don't have boobies coming out of your suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, take this! It's a present! A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Are you gifting me the murder weapon? <laughs> Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. For real? You, you made this. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. It's not the murder weapon, right? It's yours. That's what he said. That's what he said. Okay. Yo, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? <sighs> Larry. Hmm. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? <laughs> Just give him the murder weapon back. Yeah. Here, pick this back. <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? It kind of has blood on it. What yeah. about that clock? Yeah. This is a blood. clock yeah. you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. No, dude, people don't do you that. You think so? It's a pretty heavy <laughs> clock to take traveling. Okay. Well, make of it what you will. Hmm. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. 
<laughs> really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. The four years of law school mm -hmm. taught you nothing but yeah. that just now. Um, also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. And say, how about dinner on me? Will I drink a toast to innocent butts? Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry... <laughs> you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Uh, yeah. Part, at least. Well, will have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Gee, for you mm. asking me now. Because mm. I'm, I'm not going to object to that. And so, <laughs> my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. And he's right. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave me. Huh? I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my, and my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. What? The uh -oh. What? Oh, bum. Bum, bum, bum. What? <laughs> the next case. Ooh, turnabout sister, saving your content. That was very ominous. It was mm -hmm. ominous. We should keep going. Um, I think Mick has to head out, but yeah. thank you, Mick. Not kicking you out, but I, I know you said you had about an hour. Um, but thank you, Mick, for joining us. Whenever yeah, you're coming. already left. Oh, okay. That's actually good timing. But <laughs> All right, it was I just can't. The one. Well, thank you, Mick, in the VOD. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we're keep going for a little bit more, eh? Yeah. Sure. Get into the second case. Get it started, yeah. at least. Get Find out going. what was up with that. Well, who's the voice of cellular? Phone call. <laughs> Moogle phone call. Maya. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. My internet. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. Hey, rendezvous. Thanks for dropping in. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue with Thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I little girl anymore, sis. And now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I have to take the clockwork out, sorry. Put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Hmm, well... There's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? Because we totally keep evidence in our office instead of... Yep, you know, that's how it works yeah. in this world. Under, under lock it's and so key and the evidence lockup. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be in pre-trial meeting until then. 
Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Koopo. Koopo. <laughs> this is dystopian. They're recording all of our conversations? I guess. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> for some reason, that ended up on her, like, tape deck, for whatever reason. September 5th, 8.57 p.m., Faye and Company Law Offices. Mm. Ooh. Um, Zep, do you want to? Just Who is this? Mystery mystery person? Yeah. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. The papers. Papers, I'm please. Sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Who recorded our phone conversation? Oh, oh, you are not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. And wiretaps? Mm -hmm. I, I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Uh... Well, oh. what y'all? What? That's really unfortunate. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Red. <laughs> September September fifth, nine oh eight p.m. Hey, and company law office is Cooper. I don't get it. <laughs> if if he heard the phone call, then wouldn't he know that? The sister has it, not her. She hasn't come yet. Yep, she he got there. Oh, first. so like mm -hmm. he that got, wasn't recorded past he, tense. That was like yeah. Actively... So he was tapping mm -hmm. their her phone, and so yep. he went to get. Okay, the I don't know why I thought the re the recording part made me think there was a time skip. Yeah, mm, it's a little yeah. bit confusing. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Mia's got some stinky blood. <laughs> well, I guess we need to move in to the office, yeah. Mm hmm That smell. Blood. <laughs> Someone's there. <gasps> Chief? Chief? Chief! No! Looks like we're not gonna get to date the yeah. titty lawyer. No. <laughs> titty lawyer. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't look at anything else when she was on screen. Okay. <laughs> that was, I think that was a design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Did she just pass out? Oh, gosh. Yeah. She didn't get that burger. <laughs> the strange so girl hungry. dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Well, better examine the crime scene. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Oh, oh that's a really, really wild coincidence. <laughs> Great. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Oh, God. Must be pieces of the glass light standing, uh, glass light standing lying broken. Glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. <laughs> There we go. Flash shards. Out of the corner. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? 
So, oops. So everything, like, both gifts that, that were made by Larry killed people. Yep, I'm concerned. He's lucky that way. Mm. Larry is cursed. A word is written smells. in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Don't make any more statues, Larry. No. <laughs> Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Completely unwatched, even though she was a potential murder suspect. I'm invisible. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run out. Run on me. Oh, wait. There she just appeared. Yipes. Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? Uh, it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? <gasps> so Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Uh, do you know what evidence is? <laughs> Kinda. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. It's got your name on it. Uh, th th that's my name. Yeah. Why? Why would she write my name? Because you killed her, idiot. Please, Why just calm you? down. You're being hysterical. <laughs> Why, would write? Why would sis write my name? <laughs> oh, now I've done it. Better hurry up and call the police before she runs. Make her someone else's problem <laughs> quick. <laughs> right. So, how do I? How do I call the police? I guess move. Maybe. Just like nothing else the really. Office. Yeah, the phone, phone is in there. Mm -hmm. hmm? Is in the other? Oh, the other office. The yeah, phone is in the office. office. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't go run away now. It's gonna use his phone to call I the police. I'm not running away. Good. Right. I better call the police. <laughs> That's funny. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Please? Please, come quick! I don't know if this is her. What was that? Someone screaming oh. from the out from outside the window. That was a random passerby. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's, it's April God. May! She's staring right at me! She's oh. holding a phone in her hand! Oh, this looks bad! I mean, we are also about to call the police, so maybe we should just do that. Yeah, no, it's just missing screws. I'm not going to use it. Now it's evidence. Great, yeah. now I'm in trouble. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Siren noises. <laughs> the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Everybody act natural. Freeze, police! Whoa. Yay! That was really aggressive. Whoa. Your eyes, buddy. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It's like two seconds ago. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? It's definitely not. Uh, great. Just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Excuse me. Does the word Maya here uh, mean anything to you? How are you doing your job? Uh, um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, wrote down the killer's name. Killer, I'm not... <laughs> uh, you're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. No, there's other reads. Ugh. What? Nope. This is how it works. This universe? <laughs> <laughs> Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. For some reason, I wasn't, even though that woman saw me in the room with the body, but okay. Right. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning, though, but I still got out. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. 
I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. I would not. <laughs> God. Detention center visitor room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, there. Oh. She's standing sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in flat mode, sorry. Yeah. It's you, the lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, it's kind of up to you, I'm right? Sorry, I'm Nope. <laughs> I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should be saying. After all, you're the one in trouble here. Uh, they're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought that. It's okay, I understand. Um, and I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! <laughs> so he crashed and burned? <laughs> He's a genius. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. You know, my type. Mm -hmm. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. <laughs> well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Well, hey. Yeah. And that's what she said. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, uh. oh, wow. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. Oh, I know. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Oh, uh, spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> could you tell me? Idea. Yeah. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence. That's how it works. Yep. It's proper use of yeah. evidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's super safe to keep it with me. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could you have been up how could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you wanna hear it in her own voice? H hear uh, what I'm sorry, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. That's the default setting, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Hey. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. It's like saving chat history, but for all your calls. Yep. <laughs> no. Can you tell me more about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be bad. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. I'm running, I got a call from my sister. Do you want me to hold? 
Hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically, practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, why did you, or when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood, stinky blood. That's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found her, my sister. Stinky blood Mia, that's what we call her. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. So you're an acolyte, uh, it's medium in training. That's right. Our Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. What's lawyering up to? Hmm. Her powers are first class too. I you know, lawyer and gets you a paycheck. I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real, honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. I'm an esper. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes, yeah, an esper. <laughs> well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We it's just, not admissible in court. We can just, sure, okay, have you seen this kangaroo court? court? We can just <laughs> ask her who killed her. I believe anything. <laughs> no way. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Okay, hmm. but if, if that's possible We can have her all, testify. I, there should be, like, a court appointed. I thought that would be too easy. Yeah. Oh, dude, you don't even know the sixth game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? I'm really hungry. This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? I think I got insulted again just now. Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you know what? No, I'm your only option. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. I'm standing right here. Yeah. <laughs> Say, what about your parents? Oh. More bad memories. <laughs> I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. They smell, so I don't go home. Mm. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. <laughs> what? Is somebody... Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Okay. This universe is insane. We gotta get out of here. We are, we're in a hurry now. <laughs> it's pretty out of pocket. Ah, uh, yes. Grossberg Law take, like, Offices. Years for people to get their trials. <laughs> this, this, it's part it of the, the universe, future. too. They say that they wrap yep. up everything in like three days to move the system mm -hmm. along. Yep. Yep. Or something like that. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, apparently she doesn't have any other family members who can spirit yeah, there's, medium There's no us. other spirit medium in the world. That's death. Nope. This is it. According mm -hmm. to the receptionist, the big boss is out. Big she boss. couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard Snake. to keep track of everything <laughs> when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. That's I guess I'll right. just have to come back later. An office like what? It looks like you're an archaeologist. Mm. <laughs> I guess I'll come back later. Uh, you got the all the time in the world. Filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. This is gumshoe, I'm sure. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, sorry, I know you from somewhere, don't I? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? You mean Harry? Ah. Harry. <laughs> yes, nice. I got the name wrong, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective... Gumtree? Um, Gumtree, wasn't it? Detective Gumtree? 
gum tree. Gum doesn't grow on trees, pal. And I'm the one in charge here, so don't push your luck. Whatever you say, detective. Are we in Australia? Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> the police. Um. Hey, Dick, get over here. There you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Be right there. Um. um uh, you're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Ooh, keep things on Maya's leg. Okay, well. Uh, about Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Mm -hmm. Want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Oh, thanks. He caved immediately. <laughs> just immediately. Away. This is the gumshoe way. <laughs> Time of death, 9 p.m. Jeez, that was have to right before Maya all. showed up. Like, he's just online. I'm just really hopeful. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Damn, why do you say that? City's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Well, shit. Edgeworth? Nemesis? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Ooh, Edgeworth. Ooh, Prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Yeah, he's, uh, he's this guy. That one. The fancy, <laughs> the fancy one. The fancy fellow. Uh, no, I never had the pleasure. <laughs> never heard of him. Not that important. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I can do himself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so can I... Can I... Uh, oh, my, where's my... Note? Oh, I can't yeah. offer it here. I need to... Maybe you have to, like... Oh, present. Here we go. Yeah. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. You already said sure. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, <laughs> he's on to me. Uh... I mean, be honest with Gumshoe... Where, where does the evidence wind up when he's got it? Like, which little kid sibling does he send his evidence to? <laughs> hey, now I did good <laughs> care of the maybe, evidence. Maybe we can trick him. Tell him not so straight or tell him straight. I don't know. What about this one? Okay, I, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter. Oh, no. Um, the, that carrying strap on the cell phone. This hmm, says the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Oldy Tokyo. <laughs> the Steel Samurai, that action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what she said? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. There you go. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. What now? Nothing. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. All done, pal? Um, yeah. Thank you. I'll be heading out. Oh, wait. I've got even more evidence for you. Really? <laughs> One more thing I wanted to mention to you. <laughs> I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyery ways, pal. Uh. Oh, the boobs of the window. Yeah, come to think of it, yep. I had completely forgotten about her. I mean, a titty window was looking at us, not... <laughs> the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. But you can guess. Mm, come well. on, try. 
<laughs> you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ah, you're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. <laughs> You've got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. A, a, a leak? I think the pipe exploded. Yeah. Hey. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's really bad at detecting. What's sticking <laughs> out of that drawer? He really is. <laughs> Well, it is 10 o'clock. Should we stop here? I know we didn't get to all the characters on the list today because it's mm -hmm. hard to predict how long it would take us. Yeah. Um, maybe we should stop before we question Miss May because that could take a little while. That's true. Yeah, probably. So we'll save our game. And we will put it here, right? I like that this game lets me save anywhere I want. Mm -hmm. It's very it's nice. And yeah, well, what do you think so far, you guys? A new journey. Yay. Uh, it's so nice I, to I want to know the game. rules of this universe so badly. They slowly reveal them to you. Yeah, they slowly reveal them <laughs> yeah, eventually. They do, eventually. Eventually you get little bits and pieces of things. It's mostly just the judge's whims. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks for joining today, Anna, yeah. Jada, Zep. Also, Mick earlier as well. Thanks for hanging yeah. out, friends. Uh, Michael, thanks for being here. Electric Licorice, thank you for the emotes. They're amazing. And also Zeppelin Cafe, yeah. thank you for the starter screen. Hey, yeah. very nice. Mm. Um, Croy, thanks for being here. Marco Asala, who's lurking here, but also streaming. So I'm going to jump in on her pasta. Uh, mm -hmm. Spicy. And everybody else who's hanging out. Thanks so much. We're going to raid yeah. over to Asala. What's she playing now? Die. Um, is she back on Ronin? What is she doing? Uh, she she got so many going right now. She I can't. Lot. She's back on Rise <laughs> of the Ronin. So oh, there we go. Oh. We'll do a raid. You don't have to throw mangoes at Asala. She owns the channel. <laughs> so with all of she's her, she's got so many mangoes and so many uh points. <laughs> she, she owns points. all the mangoes. <laughs> she does own everything. Um, all right. But thanks, friends. That was fun. First day for Foodies yes. Right. So excited. Woo! Can't wait to continue Yay! next week at uh, uh, Tuesday at 8.30. Now we're kind of getting the swing of things, so we'll keep on going. And with that, we yeah. say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.